Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Grace. Here on my channel, you'll find all things beauty, mom life, and of course, lifestyle. But today's video is a cook and clean with me, and it is in collaboration with three awesome women here on YouTube, Nia, Amber, and Sherelle. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out their channel. Their links will be down in the description box. So for this cook and clean with me, I am going to be making eggplant parmesan. It is a favorite in my household. Also, it is one of the dishes I like to take with me when I'm going for potluck dinners. It's just something delicious that everybody pretty much likes. Stay tuned to see how this recipe turns out because I do add a little secret ingredient. So once all my eggplant is sliced, I go ahead and remove the skin. This absolutely is not necessary, but, but I prefer to not have the skin on the eggplant when I'm eating eggplant parm. If you guys watch closely, you'll see I use different methods to remove the skin. I just got lazy of the regular peeling method and I was trying to find some way faster. I don't know. So once the skin is removed off of all the eggplant, I go ahead and take some eggs and some breadcrumbs and I go ahead and prep that. Even though it's not necessary, I still go ahead and season both the egg and the breadcrumbs. So now I'm just dipping my eggplant in the eggs and then putting it in the breadcrumbs and making sure that it's nice and evenly coated. Once I am done with everything, I go ahead and put them in the oven just like that for about 10 to 15 minutes just to dry them out and for the cooking process to start. So this is my secret ingredient. I love putting Italian sausage inside of my eggplant parm. It just adds a nice taste to it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and layer up our pan. The first thing we put inside is some sauce and then we're gonna go ahead and stack our eggplant. Once we have a layer of eggplant, I go ahead and add some mozzarella and some Parmesan cheese and I make sure I coat that eggplant all the way. Then I go ahead and add my secret ingredient which is sausage and then we just go ahead and repeat the process.
Once I get to the very top, I like to go ahead and add my last crumbles of sausage and I go ahead and add some basil. Our eggplant is going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. I will go ahead and link a similar recipe down in the description box if you guys are interested. Now let's go ahead and get some cleaning done. So right here I'm just folding some laundry. If there's one thing I always have to do is fold laundry. If you look closely, I look tired in this clip because I was, I just had a long day and I just wanted to get this laundry done and over with because I know somewhere in this house, there's more laundry that needs to be done. Once I am done with that, I just wanna tidy up the living room. This is where we hang out a lot, so it's always getting untidy, and I just need to fix it up a little bit because we are nearing the end of the day and everyone is going to start going to their beds and just, you know, preparing for bed. So I just wanted to tidy up the living room so that it's nice and fresh for the morning. Also, I was doing some editing here, so I needed to get my computer and all my gadgets out of the way as well. Now that Naomi was upstairs, I just wanted to go ahead and fix up some of her toys and her books. I There's a method to my madness when it comes to her books. Why? I don't know, because she just messes it up any chance she gets. But I like for them to look kind of neat, and I have a certain way that I like them. Also, I'm just going to make sure that all her toys are pretty much where they need to be because she'll ask me in the morning for a toy and I'm like, I have no clue where you put it. So I just want to make sure everything is kind of where it needs to be. So now that it's been some time, we are gonna go ahead and take our eggplant parm out of the oven and it looks so good. Let me tell you, I ate this and went straight to bed. All right guys, so it's the next day and I'm just coming in from running some errands. And I just wanted to vacuum up the living room before I picked up Naomi from school. We track in a lot of leaves and dirt and a bunch of different things from outside. So I just wanted to go ahead and vacuum the living room a little bit because I noticed there was a lot of particles on the floor. Vacuuming our living room is something I do quite often because like I said, we track in a lot of like leaves and stuff. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the kitchen a little bit. I want to put some dishes away and also I want to go ahead and clean off the countertops. This again is something I usually do at night or right before I'm cooking, but last night I ate and honestly I went straight to bed.
So I'm just using my Mrs. Myers to clean off our countertops and then I'm going to take a Clorox wipe and I'm just going to get in the little crevices of our countertop to make sure that they're nice and clean. Now I'm just making sure everything is back in their place, trying to put it in a nice organized way. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out all the other ladies who are part of this collab. Their links will be down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.